Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Last time we left off, we saved Bacarna, and we are supposed to now either find the Trephine or do something with the Trephine. So, I think this is it. Let's find out. The squat device before you hums quietly, except that it's entirely silent. The humming sensation, you realize, happens not in your ears, but at the edge of your mind. We've already done that. Picture the key you received from the memory hoarder in your mind's eye. You place your hands on either side of the machine. The not quite sound the not quite sound grows louder. It gives you the impression of a growling stomach, hungry for something within you. Sacrifice the knowledge of how to use this machine. Sacrifice a memory. Let's sacrifice the knowledge of how to use this machine. And uh, that doesn't seem right. Let's sacrifice a memory. A prickling sensation scales your arms, sliding into the joints of your shoulders and slipping up your spine and into the base of your skull. You feel lessened somehow, as something slips from your mind like something you just meant to say. It flows down your arms and into the trephine, which whirls contentedly. The machine quiets, returning to its inactive state. Nothing further happens. Uh, well then what happened? Nope. Alright, so I guess we have to sacrifice the knowledge of how to use this machine. Uh, the floor beneath you shivers. There we go. Stairs. Well, that's not unsettling. How novel. I, I would join you down there, but I've got this uh, fear of being digested. You understand. <laughs> no worse than climbing a mast, eh? The upper bowels. That sounds promising. I wonder if uh, we'll make it to Wales Annis. <laughs> His Annis. That's the final boss. It's defeating the sphincter. Gross. <laughs> we must follow. The body would not harm those who care for the body is not responsible for this wizardry. Return from the canal is recommended. Gross. Fuck me sideways. <laughs> Be watching your steps, huh? Poultry, there's chicken down here and pork. What else? Kith meat. Poultry. And poultry. They really like chicken. Or this thing really likes chicken. Where'd that guy go? Both of them didn't die. Got some reptilian blood. Reptilian blood. What's in the middle here? Brutish blood. Let's go through the door. How are there doors down here? Hmm. Let's go... The secrets, the screams, all have ceased. All is silence. Isn't that a good thing? Oh, lots of kith meat. Alright, we're gonna go talk to this lady. The Deep Wrangler. Scavenger of Visions. Alright, there's one that we can talk to or kill. Alright, I'm going to uh, disintegrate the Scavenger of Visions down there. Aloth, get some tentacles going on. Shodi, just attack. I'm, I'm gonna hold you back for a second. And then I... My ranger is going to blow this deep wrangler up before she can confuse anybody. Actually, hold on. What do you need to do? Apply intellect afflictions. So, he's going to do confuse after we're done uh, summoning some tentacles. Why are you just standing there? Go get him, Adair. Alright, are you done? Yes. All right, now do, why can't I do confuse? Oh, we're frightened. Prevents hostile actions, I believe is what it does. Oh my God, these guys are freaking everywhere. Are you still frightened? Well, get your Sitzel Spirit Lance out at least and uh, stab this thing. I'm gonna have uh, Adair heal himself. Shodi, Holy Radiance, and then uh, Iconic Projection, if you survive. You know what? No. Withdraw yourself. Alright, Aloth. Now, confuse before the battle is over. 
Uh oh. That guy is casting delayed fireball, it looks like, so let's uh interrupt him, shall we? Yeah. Oh god, no. Get out of there, Aloth. Um intellect aff affliction. It's just it's just uh, confusion from what I can see. I wonder if I got anything else. Um, let's do confusion. No, we can't do confusion. We can't do any of that. Because none of it's an intellect affliction. Well, let's just attack then. Who's still alive? Why am I still in combat? Or am I? I'm not. Okay. What is this? Caretaker robe. Six armor. But that's because it's superb, so it's not actually that good. This unusual Nguithen device pulses with arcane power. Of course it does. It's Nguithen, man. They all pul pulse with power. That door is still closed. The Inner Mysteries. Caretaker Thaumaturg. Turge. The Masked Wizard is an infection and should be purged. Let's save it before we start monkeying around with this stuff. This fluid-filled conduit shudders slightly as it, is, it pumps its vile contents through the body. Examine the conduit. The thick muscles tremor and contract. The canal seems to flow towards the pit of bile to the northeast. Strike it. The conduit spasms beneath your blow before bouncing back into shape. Blood, blood, aid shark meat. That's good. Is this going to open up? Uh... No, that did not open up the other room. Got some water. What is that? Alchemical charge. This device contains two small reservoirs. When the vessels are split, the substances contained within will intermix to explosive effect. Clearing the southeast tunnels. The god form of the glorious eyeless face continues to expand in the south. Use these devices to deepen the tunnels. Do so before the god form fills them, lest you harm their magnificent creation. Alright. Seraphin, I need you to do your stealth thing. Wait for the thing to go down. Alright, where are they? Alright, I can, I can make that jump. Without anyone seeing me, I mean. Uh, unlock this and see what's in there. Is there anything worth stealing? Eh, kinda. Lots of drugs. I like drugs. My characters like drugs. Drugs are bad for you in real life, so don't take them. Alright, are we ready? No, we need to wait for him to turn around. Go. All right, we've used all our leaps for this rest, but we got the item, so. Let's, I'm sure we can put the alchemical charge in that thing back there, but I don't want to just yet. There might be a way to talk our way through there. A slick mold clings to the wall, moisture beads its surface. Rising from the fungus at uneven intervals are fleshy nipple-like pustules, grab the mold. You collect some of the mold and your hand comes away damp from a ruptured pustule. It immediately begins to itch. Awesome. We are now injured. But it's not a bad injury. Minus 5 fortitude and uh, corrode armor rating. Is this garden to your liking? Does every blossoming pustule swell your eggs with anticipation? <laughs> The spore colony twitches and shivers as you draw near. You might need a refresher lesson on kith biology. None of that is true. Uh, looks like you've managed to spread yourself pretty far. Gratitudes. For now, the flesh garden is a still pond. A small stone casts a broad ripple. A pinkish hue spreads across the cap of a mushroom, almost like it's practicing how to blush. <laughs> One thousand apology glands. We are mottled with delight over this garden. But here in your song, a desire to probe deeper. Yep, can you help Your us? This song is too beautiful to allow any obstruction to impede its growth. Allow us to fertilize a bed of gratitude. 
Wells' flesh twitches and spasms as thick tendrils of fungus reach out to clear a path. Well, good. Helping him, uh, helped us. Still don't like a sentient fungus taking over the world, but whatever. I'm sure we'll be able to stop it before he gets too far. Just not now. Infected caretaker. Alright, can we take all this stuff? Ooh, what is this? Dreamwalker's Treads. Uh, two stealth and one athletics and grants Feast of Dreams. Once per rest, target asleep until attacked for 10 seconds and self uh, health restored per one second. Um, the wearer puts a target to sleep and leaps into their dreams. While asleep, the wearer heals over time and is untargetable but is unable to act. So we gain 30 hit points and we're, it's basically like withdraw for only 10 seconds. So not so great. Here's another quest item. It's a book. The End of the Gods. Vanishing of Godlikes. The Midwife's Memoirs is just a regular book. The Rediscovery of Yeshua. Yeshua. Isn't that like a Jewish word? The Last Ice Age and the Throne of Wodica. All right, let's see if we can figure out which ones go where. Or no, he already did this for us, so we don't actually need to do that, I think. Helping him. The Unusual and Gwithin device pulses with arcane power. I think uh, normally we would have had to kill them, get the books, and do this, but I think the plant did it for us. Aloth, get back. I want you to be ready to confuse these bastards. Oh, you can't, because now you are suppressed. Can't use hostile actions. Well, we can still attack, I guess. Just no hostile abilities. Withdraw yourself, Adair. Get over there and uh, attack the Bowels Alchemist. Um, I'm going to do the same, I think, to stop him from doing anything else. Nope. Interrupt him. Nope, we can't do that. I guess it doesn't matter because we're not going to cast any spells on him. Can you cast yet? Damn. Thing lasts forever. Shoti. Holy Radiance, please. Nope, you are not allowed to because you are withdrawn. I need to jump away before I die. And then heal myself. Aloth, heal yourself. Nope, you already did. Then do Sittle's Martial Power. Heal yourself, Seraphin. I dare knock that guy over so he doesn't kill me. God, I hate these shimmering beasts. Let's uh, heal my guy before he goes down. Why are they all frightened? He still can't cast anything, son of a gun. Nope, that is not the right target. That is Seraphin. Seraphin, do your mind blades. Take out the illusion ones, or the ones that are almost dead. They seem to spawn illusions like my cloak does. Easy to kill, but they do decent damage. Alright, somehow we all survived that. I guess Aloth went down, but he's got something on that resurrects him once per battle. Actually, I think it's his warrior ability. Alright, fungal growth concerns. The fungus has intruded into the upper bowels of the Hundred Visions' most glorious god form. It proves most resistant to elimination. The smaller fungal beings protect the mucus-like molds on the wall, and the mold possesses its own form of defense. Further, application of the antiseptic cream to the mold has proven ineffective, instead causing the cream to harden into an acid-resistant solid. Were such, an, were such an admixture to somehow get introduced to the godform's bile ducts, the result would hardly be ideal. Right, because antiseptic cream. Uh, a salve for what ails whale? 
Um, that will harden this thingy over here, and then we can probably punch it and break it. Or maybe it just won't work anymore. Bile churns within this pit. The fleshy tube nearby pumps an ac the acidic substance into the larger pit in the central chamber. Combine the fungal... Well, let's examine it first. It reeks and the fumes burn your eyes. Combine the fungal ingredient with the antiseptic salve and add both to the fluid. You carefully mix the materials and dump them into the reservoir. The bile foam, the bile foams and bubbles before uh, curdling into thick goo. The tube shudders and then chokes, utterly clogged. Well, there's one down. We're gonna give Wall a uh, heart attack. <laughs> or wait, no, this is the bowels. We'll just make him constipated. Very purple in here. A twisted chunk of iron-like metal rises from Wells' flesh, leaning to the side like a crooked tooth. This is the star metal. The pitted surface, the pitted surface, gleams with a disorienting array of colors. This matches Bacarna's description of a fallen star. She came to the Black Isles in search of this marvelous rock. The metal radiates soul energy. The whole area is dense with it. Vague emotions reach out to you: anger, fear, and territorial aggression. None of it feels quite right. Tread lightly, I think we're being watched. The metal shimmers faintly responding to your presence. A set of moist black eyes peer out of the depths of your pack. It's gift wrapper, she's trembling. Uh, look at the pretty... <laughs> no, I'm not going to sacrifice her. Examine the metal. As you peer closer, the ambient soul energy studies you back with quiet calm. By your reckoning, the essence is little more than an amorphous shape of emotions, though it seems more aware than most incorporeal entities. You can discern nothing else about it. Let's back away slowly. Who is Gift Wrapper? That's Retina, Lucero, Gift Wrapper. Alright, let's sacrifice her and just see what happens. Say nothing. Tendrils of spirit energy reach from the mineral and grass gift wrapper about the thorax. The spider lets out a brief squeal of panic before an ugly snap silences her forever. Jesus. I don't like that. You feel the spiritual energy received for the moment the specters are glutted on essence and appeased. Chip a metal off. Nope. Sorry. Just a piece of star metal. An easy piece of star metal for my tiny little spider's life. No thank you. Gift wrapper is still alive. You snap a piece of metal away from the main body. No sooner does it come away in your hands than a discordant wail fills your ears. Wouldn't these be alien? Like alien ghosts? Because this is a uh, fallen star. Like, I don't know. It, they certainly wouldn't be human specters. No, nope. blind that one so you bounce. And then blind this one. Aloth, do your tentacle thing. At least give him something to do. Shodi, I need you to withdraw Aloth before he dies. And then I'm going to back up and blind this dude. Seraphin, mind blades, please. Good job, everyone. Easy fight. You know, I wonder, we should get... Uh, she has a spell, I think, that I didn't even bother getting because I thought it sucked, but with as often as we're using Withdraw, we should have gotten... Is this it? Barring Death's Door. Cannot die for eight seconds. So, yeah. And Withdraw almost lasts too long sometimes. So barring death door might actually be better for us. I'll remember that if I ever use a priest again. <laughs> I haven't. I don't think I have one on any of my new teams. It's mostly wizard subclasses with fighters and rangers, and a paladin, of course, as my tank. Everybody, keep getting back. Don't let these damn dream beasts come after me. Nope, they're gonna come after me.
Damn it. There's no way of stopping them. They just jump right to me. They do like a little mind blade of their own. You need to defense up. Where did the scavenger of visions go? Was that him? Where are you, Adair? And why are you almost dead? Did you not use... He did. Oh, he actually died. He went down once. Those observers are... They hit pretty hard, apparently. Heal yourself, damn it. Jesus. Alright, let's try that again. This time I'll keep everyone back. That way the dream beasts don't come after me. And hopefully that means I can take out the observers a little bit easier. Aloth, please confuse these nice dream beasts. Uh, Shodi, do a flame pillar please. Seraphin, I want you to robust Adair ahead of time. Try to keep him topped up, and then I am going to go to town on these observers. Blind them all. Look at that, 123 damage. Heal yourself again, Adair, or just period. Did you actually confuse him? You did, okay. Then confuse these guys over here as well. Oh wow, 96% chance to uh, confuse the observer. But he died. It's unfortunate. Alright, everybody get back on the shimmering dream beasts now before they kill my entire party. Shodi, go ahead and withdraw yourself. The only person almost dead is my pet, so I don't care if he dies. <clears throat> Alright, did they drop anything? Aw, oh, Blinky. I wonder what he is. I bet he's an eyeball. <laughs> yep, he's an observer. Uh, plus five melee accuracy and resistance to perception influ or afflictions. That's pretty good. Go ahead and kill the polyps. See if that does anything. Uh, it blew up that humongous eyeball for some reason. Hmm. Don't know what that actually does for me though. Let's go see if we can do something with this thing now. Oh, we can probably just put the bomb in it. Yeah, okay. Let's have a dare do it. This time we'll stick outside. In case anyone gets mad, like the librarian sitting in here. Nope. It's going to make me come in anyway. No more bile. I could have made that swim. No. I want Adair to charge these guys. Seraphin, you can stay on him. Then I am the one who wants to blow him up. Blind the spell blade, please. Aloth, I want you to get off at least two confusions. Nope, too late. Everybody run around except for Adair. You sit here. Aloth, I want you to... Nope, you can't. Okay, we're out of confuses. All right, we got it all anyway. Revelating missiles. 50% chance on scoring hit crit to leave a seal that deals raw damage to enemies. Nice. All right, now we need to deal 500 raw damage. That should be pretty easy with Aloth because we've got Ninagoth's Killing Bolt. That'll do 100 on its own. And then obviously, uh, let me check real quick on your wand. It's 50% chance on scoring a crit of any kind. 
because my spells can crit or is it just auto attacks with the wand I'm not sure all right let's jump down or do we want to go back to Bacarna now because she's all the way up top I'm not gonna go through three four zones just to get to her and come right back the shaft descends into the depths of Whale's misshapen body. Though the acidic scent of bile plagues the chamber, the canal seems safe enough to descend for the moment. Descend into the duct. The smooth sides of the, the, smooth sides of the shaft remain slick with bile, and it descends fa as, for, as far as you can see. You doubt there's any climbing back up this hole. It's a one-way trip into the very core of Whale's body. Descend. Despite every attempt to lower yourself carefully down the drainage duct, your hand slips out from under you, and you lose your footing. You plummet through the vile darkness. A pale red light expands before you. Oh man, it's his heart. I wonder what Aethys' original body was. Obviously, he's got a new one. This is just the Oracle, right? That's Fionn Lek. You recognize the familiar robes of Fionn Lek, his back to you, arms outstretched to either side as he channels the incredible reserves of ambient essence at the heart of Whale's Titan. There we are, friend. Open up now and receive me. Didn't I turn you into worms? The Archmage's Archmage spins on you, unmasked. The elf's features seem half smeared away as if by the hand of a sculptor. Watcher of Cat Nua, Herald of Bereth, Dusk Speaker. I'm afraid that we that I cannot allow you to interfere. We've come entirely too close to turn away now. You're close to what exactly? What are you trying to accomplish? Communion. Like a leaf held to a flame, his smile curls at both ends. Uh, you have my back, team. I think this is about to get bloody. Now, communion. All of the knowledge in these halls, all of the memories, it all descends, flowing into this titanic form. The me, too, that we were before. I feel it there, pulsing like a heart. We can help you, Fionlek, but not if you lose yourself. It's your story that ends here, I'm afraid. And none shall remember it. Well, oh, great. Recall everything. Everything we've ever known. Everything we've never known. The wizard's thoughts echo among your own, pounding against your mind like an ogre against the closed gate. So this is Fionlech now. Fionlech. Indomitable Fionlech, the arcane knight. Fionlech, the unspoiled. Archmage of the circle. Fionlech, wake of the hand of... What is a wake? W-E-Y-C. The names, titles, and memories, and the emotions that accompany each break upon you like the shore. I've never heard of you. All knew us. For the spells that bore our name, if nothing else. Fionn Ledge's wall of flames. Fionn Ledge's wall of many colors. Fionn Ledge's pristine barrier. Okay, so he did make quite a few spells. We've used all... Well, I've seen all of them. I used wall of flames in my other... Uh, my other playthrough. His transformation has done little for his stability of mind. Very impressive. So what happened to bring what happened to bring low such an illustrious personage? We I I joined the Hand of Cult, served well faithfully, and became initiated into ever deeper circles of revelation. They appointed me Wake, the high magician, seer and arcanist. That's when we when I uncover the truth. You hold it too. We see it. The secret shining in your mind. The great lie. A star set within a blank firmament. That the gods aren't real. We will not be silenced. Well, will not bury us as they did the ones who came before. The great lie? The birth of the gods. Yep, okay. The gods were made by humans, basically. That's the secret. None of this matters. I can't let you have the titan. What do you mean, those who came before? You don't believe the end with us were first, do you? Or alone, you already know of the Huang. There were others. End with established global influence, not eternal dominion. We cannot allow your ears. 
Too many secrets taint you as they tainted Fionnets. You must be purified. The creature rises. All right. Round two with the Oracle. I'm guessing it's going to be slightly more powerful this time. Let's save it. Ugh. This place is gross. What is this? An arcane channel. Let's see if I can't blow that up right from the beginning. Adair, I want you to s stick on him, please. All right. What can we do here? Let's go Nina Goss Killing Bolt just to get that started. I'm gonna come up after this arcane channel. Everyone needs to stay out of the way of that bolt. I only did 46 raw damage, but that's okay. All right, I want you to do, I don't know, you can't because we used our only spell slot for uh, the killing bolt. Make some tentacles, please, Shoti. I want you to heal Aloth once. How are you not dead? Should uh, interrupt him. All right, heal yourself, Seraphin. Aloth, do the same, please. And then you two get up here and kill this arcane channel. What else can we do? Let's do uh, the freezing pillar on him. See if that does anything. Are you a helpless beast? I'm pretty sure I canceled that. Or I tried to, anyway. By cancel, I mean interrupt. Of course. Still a baby. A baby piggy. Um... Why don't you get back, Aloth? What can you do? An Adragon? Do I want to summon an Adragon or a Vine Lurker? Let's go Adragon first. They might be able to cast something on me to help me out. Alright, come over here and put your tentacles right on top of that arcane channel. See if you can't take it out. Soul Mirror, let's blind them both. Done. Hobble them both. Oh wow, Seraphina actually survived. Alright, you guys take out the arcane channel. Seraphin, heal yourself first, actually. You two take him out before he casts Delayed Fireball. Son of a gun, that's gonna hurt me. My guy can't survive that on his own. Alright. Just attack, and then Shodi heal. Actually, just do Consecrated Ground. How is my pet still alive? Damn. Good job, dude. Actually, you know what? Let's try to keep him alive. Gon's Pledge. Go for it. Alright, did it summon anyone this time? It did not. Good. Get out of that beam. Don't be anywhere near it. Alright, I want to send my guy to kill this Scavenger of Visions. And use... Uh, Refreshing defense on my on Adair, because his wore off, obviously. All right, have my guy take out the Soul Mirror. Robust, my guy, please. Oh God, both of you move, 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 move. Get out of the beam, and then heal yourself. Then do your living illusions, please. Ah, what do I want to do? Let's send, uh... I'm going to send Seraphin over on this guy. So he leaves my dude alone. Interrupt him. Did we get him? We did. Okay. We interrupted his helpless beast that time. 
Ah, uh, heal yourself, Seraphine. Use a potion. Same with you, Shodi. Not a potion, though. Let's actually have you come over here and consecrated ground. Can you do anything else to heal? You can do a beam, but I don't think that'll work. Yeah, it's not gonna work on her. Everyone attack, Shodi, consecra Consecrated Ground. And then, um, Aloth, can you actually confuse him? How much, what chance? No, doesn't look like I have any chance to do it because it doesn't even give me a percentage. So let's uh, do Sitzel Spirit Lance and just go to town. My guy is going to take out this dude, the Soul Mirror. Empower yourself, blind him again. Strike the bell, because that didn't work. Alright, there we got him. That was pretty easy. As the last of Fion Latch's essence dissipates, the Oracle's massive eye, clouded with blood, swivels to focus on you. Its pupil seems an inky abyss. Pain radiates from it, almost knocking you from your feet. Interloper, your presence blights. You disease. Its thoughts shudder, twisting the air around you, crashing across your mind. Ugh, alias feathered ass. It'd be like a ship at sea. Except the ship be our minds and the sea, the bastards dying. Seraphim grits his teeth. Interloper. One of the tentacles reaches weakly for you before falling limply at your feet. Give up, I'll grant you clemency. Surely it's not too late to come to an understanding. We have much to offer one another. Yeah, that one. This creature is an agent of WoW. We cannot trust Well, it. I'm technically working for WoW right now, and the other gods. You invaded. Wow, very hard. Yeah, to save you. Well, I mean, I did save you. Purify everything in its place. The creature's tentacles flex, and you sense essence flowing between it and the musculature around you. But then you sense something else, something deep within the thing's eye. Something that absorbs all light, all life, all knowledge and understanding. That absorbs you. The moist, the moist fetid air within the heart washes away. Oh, God damn it. We didn't see you there. Like stars across the night it's sky. Well. The darkness splits into a hundred hundred eyes of different shapes, sizes, and colors. Wow. <laughs> That's a very colorful body you got there, sir. We recognize you. Barrett's Herald, if we're not mistaken. Their voice Their voice echoes around you, blanketing you. You know exactly who I am. Oh, you. As delightful as ever. It's strange, though. We find that we were just not thinking about you for the first time in, well, in some time. The eyes pry at you, their gaze clinging to your skin. Where exactly might you be? I uncovered your titan. I had to pursue a wizard named Fionlech into it. Uh, I'm inside you, deep inside you. <laughs> I uncovered your titan. I had to pursue a wizard named Fionlech into it. Oh, that does not seem at all. We are quite certain, or fairly certain at least, moderately certain, certainly, that we killed our terrestrial body just as we promised we would. Not that we're above the occasional bent truth, but we don't recall not killing our body, and that really seems the sort of thing that we'd remember. Do you remember that time you asked me to hide that squirrel from your followers so they'd have, they'd have to look for it harder? Indeed. Whale's eyes dance happily. We do have fun, don't we, Harold? But we were discussing our body and, and your preposterous claim to lurk within it. What you've done here, the changes you've made to these people, the information you've hidden or perverted, it's all so horrible. An interesting interpretation of events. <laughs> Entirely wrong, though. Hmm. We wonder if the Lady of Lament may be having a spot of fun with us. The eyes spin together, orbiting one another in a languid cyclone. The goddess of the oceans, forget, forgotten things, lost, relentless. Is it Andra? It doesn't say. We didn't think the old fish had it. It air. must be Andra, yeah. Do you really think Andra could be responsible? I've seen no indication of Andra's influence in the halls of obscured. Absence of evidence <coughs> provides no evidence of absence. No, this hardly seems her style. We suspect she'd have simply sent this place to the bottom of the sea. 
The eyes shiver into more or less stationary positions, their attentions refocused on you. Perhaps, though, no, surely not. But what if... Well, it certainly would delight us. He kept a secret from himself, because he's the god of secrets. Perhaps, dear Harold, we yep. hid our body from ourselves. Whale laughs at the revelation, eyes dancing excitedly. How terribly perverse of us. <laughs> and thoroughly irresponsible. When we hide something from ourselves, we hide it from the world. The world forgets about it. It forgets about itself. The eyes snap into place, utterly still, every facet and pupil directed at you. And how are you feeling, dear Harold of Barrett? I've not forgotten myself, if that's what you're asking. But now we're left with a conundrum. <clears throat> what to do? Mm, what to do with this overgrown sack of me? Mara wanted to turn your body against Aethys. Would you be willing to do battle with the Dawnstars? And expose our inscrutable quintessence to that zealous light? No, we should almost certainly take the old beast behind the metaphorical shed. And kill it, obviously. We did agree, after all. We wouldn't want Wodica to turn all... Wodica. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. Again. You should really use the body to help us with the Aethys problem. What, you were just going to do what, whatever you wanted to do regardless? Fine, I'm returning to the here. Uh, well, I don't want to say either of these, so I guess we'll just go with five. I'm returning to the here. The oracle through whom you commune with us serves as the body's brain, so to speak. Slay it when you return, and all will unfold as you dictated. Wild's eyes close and are gone. Your stomach lurches as the ground disappears from under you. And with a sensation like a pop somewhere deep within the recesses of your mind, you plummet back into your physical body. The air cloys at your skin, humid and warm. The oracle blinks at you as, as if trying to brush sleep from its eye, many eyes. The previous waves of pain seem to have subsided. You open your hand to find yourself grasping a warm, pulsing shard of metal, a, men a memento from a whale, it seems. Wall, it seems. Oh, okay. Welcome back to the dead fire. Thank God you're back. You gazed into that big eyeball any longer, I was gonna get jealous. <laughs> I'm glad to see you return to us with all your faculties intact. Thought about stabbing it in, well, the eye, I guess, while <laughs> you were taking that nap, but... Well, what if you were inside it or something? You... communed with the obscured. I'm sorry, but you have to die, it's the only way. Your favorite god gave me the go-ahead to chop you to pieces, eyeball, kill it without a warning, and uh, we're leaving now. I'm not gonna kill it. Why, why would I kill it? Go then. Leave us to our slumber. I mean, it's it used to be Wales, but Wall's body. Now it's something else, I think. All right, what did we get? Elementalist bracers, uh, jolting touch. Oh uh, yeah, we know what that is. Really nothing. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to kill them all and see. Apparently nothing. Gross. You're, you're back! And a bit more alive than I anticipated. You've got some gore on you. It's just awful. Really, Aaron, let me help. If you ever get a chance to explore one of those things, I cannot recommend it enough. Really? You know, I wasn't jealous until just now. Welcome back. You've returned in one piece. I can't say I'm thrilled to discover you let Wal's titan form lie dormant. You've only delayed the inevitable. Still, better left alone than striding the earth. Can't help but feel I missed my only chance to enjoy Wal's return. 
I understand why you did what you did. After you've been stepped on by a god, waking one up must seem dull by comparison. We may need the body in the future. At least it's under our control. I suppose you're right. In the meantime, we'll have to solve our problems on strictly mortal terms. What do you plan to do next? Uh, I'm sure Zodi will keep me busy. No rest for the Watcher. <laughs> Will give you the, pre the impression I ever plan ahead. Something will come along. Now I'm sure Shoti will keep me busy. Oh hell, Watcher! You aiming to make me blush in front of our new friends? Enjoy yourself. You deserve a reprieve. Whatever comes after this. If we don't see each other again, take care. Meeting you was a unique pleasure. I won't soon forget. Lengroth inclines her head to you in thanks and farewell. As she turns away, you catch a glimpse of a smile on her lips. Well, we didn't. Where's the ultimate equipment from this place? Uh, will this work as a celestial catalyst? Vakarna gingerly accepts the rock, turning it over and stud over to study its pitted surface. Her eyes are wide, she doesn't tremble in the slightest. This is the one. Stand back, watcher. I have waited so long for this moment. Not even gratitude will slow me down. Alright, what's she gonna do exactly? I forget what she even is supposed to be doing. A breeze you don't feel ruffles Bacarna's robes and stirs her hair. She opens her eyes and a smile slowly forms on her lips. A moment, Watcher. I doubt I could forget the words if I live to be a thousand, but let me write them down where they belong. There. Bacarna's midnight daydream. Not a bad oh yeah, she was making her own spell. Keep this uh, as a memento, my friend. A nice statement piece for the dinner table. That hum of power is relaxing in the palm of your hand. No. Celestial Agitator. It's a trinket, it looks like. Servants of the Stars. The user releases spirits held in a star metal. Whenever one of these spirits is killed, the wielder receives a random inspiration. Not bad. Summon three Servant of the Stars. You scribed a new spell right there on the spot? I had an early draft prepared already, but it was missing a little something. Bacarna's Midnight Daydream, what does it do? It channels starlight into a little <clears throat> ball, inspiring and motivating all that it touches before dispersing back into the ether. Y your spell is an orb? <laughs> is, it, is this a joke at my expense? Some of the color drains from Tane's features. What are you trying to do? Upstage my greatest achievement? Or is this outright plagiarism? Tane, you're being needlessly petty. Am I? Easy to say when you've got your boat, your your pets, your watcher vision, your castle. Well, yeah, I've got your castle, <laughs> but that's hardly the point. That orb made me. I'm nothing without it. Tane, I will explain if you will give me the space to fit in a word. Your orb was the first spell I ever learned. When I saw how you harnessed the chaos, pain, and uncertainty of a restless mind, I was never the same. The orb dazzled me. It still does. So if my spell has an echo of yours, it is only because I am the result of my influences. And I want to inspire others the way you inspire me. Bacarna clasps her hands and glances up to meet Tane's shocked expression. Huh. I believe I owe you an apology. Your orb is very nice. <laughs> uh, once we're done here, I can recommend you some good scribes to copy it down. After all, once you're an archmage, you'll be responsible for any misprints. <laughs> the side of Tane's mouth twitches into a proud grin. I would like that. As spells go, it is a little tough to control. But maybe not bad for a first start. Do you feel any different now that you've scribed a spell? I feel as if I have climbed a long and winding staircase. Opened the door at the top and found a polished spyglass waiting for me. Now I have the entire sky to still explore. I do not know what comes next, but I am pleased to have come this far, especially the good company. She grasps your hand and squeezes. For now, I want to spend some time with my book and my observatory. And oh. a well-deserved cup of tea. I guess I'm off. Congratulations, Bacarna. Before you go, a parting gift. You have done enough for me that I owe you more than a roll of parchment. 
Makarna removes a grimoire from her pack and begins to slowly inscribe a second set of runes. Alright, Celestial Grimoire. I have remembered much and learned more than I could ever forget. Agrasimer Watcher. This would have been extremely unlikely without good friends. Makarna spares you a brief smile before flipping o open her grimoire to study the words she wrote. Alright, let's check out the Celestial Grimoire. Uh, who gets this? I'll take it. Why not? Weight of Revelation grants rightful vengeance. When held to the skin, this shard of jagged metal pulse... Oh, this is what Wal Wal gave us. What does it do, though? Increases might and resolve by one until the end of combat each time a party member is knocked out. That's crap. Unless it counts, obviously, for pets. It's corrosive breath. Uh, might and resolve. What's this one do? Quick to rebel. No. We will switch that out. Alright, Celestial Grimoire. And she... Oh, here it is. Bakarna's Midnight Daydream. What does it do? A bolt of celestial energies bounces between allies, granting them a random inspiration, including tenacious, hardy, nimble, aware, acute, or resolute. Nice. <sighs> Let's go to Aloth real quick and check out what this has. It's got a decent set of defensive stuff. Hmm. But it doesn't have Nina Goth, Shadow Flame. I wonder, can we even use it though? Seven is where we can get up to. Seven. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and use it just for fun. Actually, you know what? Let's put this in our hands. That way I can switch if I need to. Let's talk to Tane. Thanks for circling back, Watcher. Glad we get this little uh moment to ourselves. <laughs> Maybe it's good that WoW sleeps a little longer. Spend a few centuries growing longer tentacles, more bulbous eyes. He'll wake up again when the world is ready for a mystery of his size. You did good out there. Hope you realize that. Ah, look at me getting all sentimental again. You need anything from your friend Tane, you just ask. I must focus on the task at What you hand. want, Grants? Eh, you want baubles? You give me coin, you get all the bobbles Imp Spray. You want. I found this book about Imp Spray. The imp snatches the book from you and starts flipping through the pages, starting from the end and working its way to the beginning. Can't read, dumb ground stink. You forget, eh? You forget? The imp strains with both claws to rip the book in half, but only succeeds in, succeeds in warping the binding. You want imp spray? You want it so badly, eh? Here, you collect it. <laughs> the imp tosses you an empty bottle and slowly raises its left foot over its head. Squeeze your eyes shut and pray for the best. You you aim the lip of the bottle just in time to intercept a blast of hot imp effluvium. It smells of rotten eggs and lamp oil dusted with a pinch of cinnamon. Gross. Mercifully, it misses your face, but a fine layer coats everything else. You feel moist and unwell. Fetid spray glances back wearing a playful grin. Enjoy spray, ground stink. First one's free. Lots more where that came from. The spray was already for sale? You just didn't say anything? <laughs> Didn't know Ground Stink Watcher loved imp spray so much. Yum, yum. Sprinkle on eggs for tasty spice, eh? Not that I want to know, but why are you collecting your own spray? Maybe because dumb Ground Stinks keep buying it? Listen, you little bastard. Try that again and I'll snap the wings off your back. <laughs> Big smelly ground filth like threatening poor defenseless imp. You buying or not? Some... What does this do? Stun for 0.5 seconds every 6 seconds for 15.8. Okay, so it, it's a minor stun twice over 16 seconds. <laughs> That's just silly. Oh well. Let's get out of here. I think we are done. Actually, you know what? I'll spare you the loading screens. Uh, we are way past time on this. So please leave a like or comment below and feel free to subscribe for more full Let's Plays like this one. And thanks for stopping by.